radio. Okay. Burr number. Or this is raw number, probably. Burnt sienna, phthalo green, ivory black, ultramarine blue, titanium white, cad yellow light, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, naphthal red. Magic white we just put up there. And we're going to do our North Carolina painting, which is for Pilot Mountain. I don't know if anyone's been there, but it's a very odd looking mountain. It's got like a top. The top is just this round thing that sticks out, and then above that is a little bird sanctuary that they just turned it into because you can't really get up there. And around the bottom, there's a bunch of bunch of trees and stones, nice little hills. So lots of hills actually. So that's why I got out the other brush. But let's sketch it in first so we don't go crazy. Make some pine trees too. I haven't done pine trees in a good while. Which side do we want the peak to be on? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right. <laughs> All right, so he comes up around like that. That's a little too. There we go. Something like this. Pilot Mountain goes around. Yeah, there's this weird hump. And then in here is a this. There's a line. There's a very clear line on the mountain, rocks in here, and then this is all trees up top. And then there's trees down here. Maybe we'll do a tree, and we'll just throw in a tree line over a big tree up here. Tree up here, and then stones. Stones, maybe another tree over here. We'll see, we'll see. That's the plan, the loose plans. Pre-seal the wood with clear glue. Then, first, then just, okay. Clear glue or sealer. Nate, why don't you make shorts? Shorts under 60 seconds, they get lots of views. Yeah, I, I want to make shorts because I know that that's, like YouTube's been pushing those a lot more, so they lead to lots of views and subscribers and stuff. I just haven't, haven't had any time. Also, don't really know how I'd make them. Maybe if I just cut out like the end of the painting, or to the end, I don't know. A time lapse? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do things on YouTube, really. All right, let's see. Where's my blue brush? Got hairs in it. I don't know, this is probably too dirty, so I'm going to switch to this other one. We'll do the same type of sky that we did in that last one, because I think that looked nice. So, this is a blue, ultramarine blue. We'll use this first for the background tree, or not the back, background sky. Most of the sky is going to be covered up. Hills. Gonna, oh, I didn't even draw in the hills. There's gonna be hills back here, so we're gonna add those in. Oh, how could I forget the hills? Alright, blend this out. I already took the top off of the mountain, <laughs> mountain here. Actually, I might actually, I'm gonna grab some crimson real quick. If we're going to be making some distant hills, I will need some crimson. There we go. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. All right. Not blue. Okay. Had to leave for a sec. What are you painting? This is Pilot Mountain in North Carolina. It's from my my home away from home state. Not my real home, but the one I spent the most time in. Let's see. Where's my palette? Oh, there's my palette knife. That's struggling there. Actually, let's do let's do clouds. We can do some clouds. We got 
We got some fan brushes here. Let's do those. I like doing the fan brush clouds. I don't know how, what you guys enjoy. I just like doing fan brush clouds. Let's see. Last time we had big puffy ones. Maybe this time we'll just do some of these like little. Uh, throw in there. And then we just blend them a little bit. These are the clouds that I get all the time. These types of clouds. There we go. There's some clouds. <laughs> That's the easiest sky I've ever done. I make a concoction to use as wood sealer. PVA glue, thin down with water and acrylic medium. It seals off the box and the wood needs to have. It would help with sinking in. I gotta save that comment. <laughs> I wish there was a way that I could save the comments that I see. Like save them for later. Cause that's a really useful tip. Where do you live again? What state? Who? <laughs> Probably, I guess, I mean, I live in North Carolina, Tennessee, Ohio. No, I don't live in Ohio anymore. I wish I did, though. That's where all my family's from, where most of them are now, except my mom and dad. They're down near me. For now, I'm here in between. All right, I'm gonna blend this out here. It's a little too uh, too harsh. Not harsh, but it's just very choppy looking. Okay, same over here. I can see like the streaks of blue. Let's add in the background mountains, little mountains here. We could do, uh, hmm, I don't know. We could do them with the filbert, but let's just do them with this. I hope this is blue. I don't have my phone, my other phone, to check the color with that color blind app. Hopefully, this turned purple with some crimson and ultramarine blue. that we're going to be doing here. Back in the distance. And there's lots of them. This is like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's on the border between Virginia and North Carolina is where this kind of is. Not quite, but close. All right, let's just do start some. Go too far into that one because that's where our big mountain is. Do one over here. Just kind of blend out the top, look a little funny. There we go. Okay, let's darken him up just a little bit. There's some white on there, so it should lighten him up as we go down. I'll go to this side first. Might be too much blue in there. Probably 
That's too much blue. Let's fix that. Closer ones, I might pull them up just a little bit. A little more. Been a while since I've done that. There we go. I want to do one more over there. Might as well. Might as well add some crimson and ultramarine blue together. those MDF MDO plywoods needs to be sealed prior especially if you create for a kids room research VOC and wood and arsenic VOC oh no Good arsenic in the wood that's scary These are all distant trees. There's gonna be a big mountain here in the middle, and that's where our big trees are gonna be. So that part is this is all just background for for now. Alright, I'm gonna wipe this off. Might need it again. Might not. I'm not sure. Okay. What do we gotta do now? We gotta add got to make our mountain. <laughs> got to add the mountain here. I want to start at the top and then move down. Probably, probably want to do that. So let's do that. We can use one inch brushes for the top. Go in a couple of phases here. So we're going to do this very top dome of the mountain first. And for that, it might just be green, emerald green. Nice dark green, maybe some black. Just gonna start pushing in. And this mountain looks really weird. If you look up a picture of Pilot Mountain, very, very weird looking mountain. But it's a really cool, really cool place. You'll drive by it if you drive on the highway. You can see it, see it from the road. All right, well, we got this. We're just gonna go into raw umber with that black and green should make a dark color and we're just going to use that and pull straight down here and then we'll use the palette knife to highlight these rocks here because these are just sedimentary rocks I don't know and towards the bottom we're just going to throw in a bunch of trees so I'm going to definitely use the two inch brush for that because there's a lot of them Try and make some space real quick. But before that, let's add in some little tiny, tiny little uh, highlights here on the this top tree line here. I'm just going to use a little bit of oil so things stick better. But you probably don't have to if you want. If you paint this, no need. This is a straight cad yellow, which we don't want because we're trying to mix our own colors. So we got some black in there, maybe some green, emerald green, and there's some oil. So, all right, let's just make it look like a little tree. Some of them come down into the uh, 
this thing. Just a little bit, though. Not all of it. They, like, hang down into the rocks. But we'll fix that up here in a minute. First, before we highlight down into there, we're going to highlight the, the rocks here. So this is umber and sienna. Just mushing them together. And that's way too much white. A little bit more white. That's too much. No, nope, that's actually good. That's what we want. And we'll do the little slice trick. Pull down. Just touch at the top. Pull down. There we go. That's Pilot Mountain's Peak. Might add a little bit more white to that. Make it stand out a little bit more. And these ones we can do a bunch of layers on. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Cool. All right. There's our top of this very odd looking mountain. We'll go in with this brush. Tap in between. Just in a few spots. Maybe over here. There's our top. So there's this top part, and then there's a section that sticks out, and then underneath, we're going to add in our big, big mountain, bunch of trees. Bunch of, bunch of trees. So we'll just use some green with the monster brush. There's probably some purple on here still, but I'm not too worried about it. some black coming down a little bit okay let's start let's start this is gonna be tricky oh maybe it's not that tricky <laughs> I've had practice all right this is a black and all those other colors we just mentioned emerald green. I'm just kind of pushing it in so there's I can't see the leaves at all. That's all I'm trying to do here. And every once in a while I aim a little bit higher. Just push them straight in. Fire it in. That's what Bill Alexander says. Fire it in. Part. This might be a little tricky. Maybe not. Might not be too bad. Can always use the one inch brush for precision here. Might need some darker color there. So let's do that. Let's use some black, some green. There's some sienna. A little bit, tiny bit. Push that in the middle. Highlight it so it has some shape. Who's the artist that says, Let's get monkey face with it? Because my cousin Brandon Thomas, yeah, Billy's cousin <laughs> Brandon Thomas, he says that all the time. Let's get monkey face with it. 
<laughs> yeah, it is uh, Billy's cousin, so he said last week. Third cousin or something, second cousin. I can't remember exactly. All right, I'm just wiping off this brush. Probably don't need to, though, because we're just going to be highlighting the rest, rest of the way here. Let's clean this guy off. I'm using a bunch of the yellows for this part. So, mm -hmm. cad yellow, whatever dirty color is already on there. I actually need some uh, white. Set it down a little bit. Just gonna use, we're going to start throwing in all the yellows here. All over this map. Adding some Indian yellow in there. Lots of different colors. Put some in between here and there. Kind of mix them up. These look kind of like a tree line though, so that's what I'm trying to get to. There's a lot of yellow over here. That's okay. Need a little bit more uh, white because it's a little thick, a little too thick. All right, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, there we go. We'll just throw this in here and there. Try not to cover up all the all the spots. You gotta leave the dark spots, otherwise it just looks like a giant blob of tree. Although sometimes it looks like that anyway <laughs> when I'm painting. Depends on what what, what mood I'm in. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Having a Thomas reunion in Kentucky. Hope we get to meet him. Never met him before. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, no, Uncle Sixty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no, those jokes. All right, here we go. I was throwing in some little, uh, little, little smaller highlights. That's the word. these trees what do you think mm. it looks okay this part I'm just gonna smear a giant blob of paint in there raw umber right in there I used to watch Brandon he's really good yeah he is really good he he hasn't made a video in a while I think something happened um, one of his family passed away so he hasn't made videos for a while I say, well, he's always really good. All right, where's my big brush? There he is. Oh, we use the biggest, the biggest brush. I got a big brush, and then I got the biggest brush. So let's use the biggest brush. We're gonna make a bunch of rocks over here. Big rocks. Literally all of that 
raw umber. I just need the dark color. If I was thinking, I probably wouldn't have put any magic white down here because it makes doing rocks a lot easier. But pushed in a little too hard. Here we go. Gotta still get hairs though. I'll tell you what. spot right here where I put too much too much yellow okay and I can kind of see already where the rocks are unintentionally just from the way I was mashing in this dark paint so I'm just going to go over top of those with some highlights and then we'll add in our big trees up here on the side get these hairs out of here first there we go off. Oh, just got paint all over the towels. That's not good. He caught COVID. Oh yeah. Three months since his last one. Oh nice. That's good. He's starting season nine. That's good. It's pretty rough about the COVID though. I get I got it a bunch of times. I think I had it three or four times. It was not fun. Every time it was slightly less terrible though, which was nice. But still pretty terrible. Not something I would want anyone to get. Alright, let's add in some big rocks. Big old rocks. Probably use the same mound color even, but maybe more umber. something in between in between there and there one here one that comes down there gotta pull this out so I'm touching the touching the bottom I don't want to do that Here I can see running into the knobs, which is fine. One here. Maybe some in between here. One big one over here. And then we're almost out of paint there, but there's also one. I should use my other palette knife for this too. It tends to work better for big areas since it's a lot longer. But that's okay. Okay. Tell him this random 13 year old loves his videos. <laughs> he used to post a lot, but stopped. Yeah. My brother had COVID. Oh, that's no fun. I never caught, but hopefully it's gone down. Close friend, hospital, he's doing good and then went down fast. Oh, that's sad. Just bought a home, married two little kids. Oh my gosh. I said that you never got it. Everybody got it. <laughs> I don't know how you wouldn't get it. Is I think all my friends have had it at this point. I just hope I don't get it again. Cause it's just uh, it's just not not good. 
very unpleasant. I'll say that. All right, this burnt sienna white. I'm gonna make like a red, red clay looking color. Or a red tinted. here for sure. Over there. That's too bright. There we go. And then where else? Where else? Right here probably. Here, I think we just need a little bit, not much. Using the small side of the knife, some precision, pre precision, and then touching right there. Okay. And then the middle parts I'll fill in with some greenery after I do a tree. I got it a while ago. But it was mild, yeah. A lot of people didn't have symptoms with it. Never caught it, all the cigars, the moonshine cigars. <laughs> yeah, that'll help anything keep your uh, throat cleaned out, you know. All right, where are we with this thing? <laughs> I gotta get focused. Uh, I was gonna add some greenery in here. Hopefully this gets darker as I get to the edge. There's just like a little bit of green in between these. I'll use some, yeah, phthalo green just to make it a little bit darker. It's a little too light. A little too light. A little bit. Okay, I'll just touch towards the edge there. Just kind of pushing it in to make it look like there's grass or something there. Grab the last bit, throw it down here. Up there. Okay, so there's our little rocks, and then we gotta throw in a tree. I said there's gonna be a pine tree. I didn't forget. Took, took home test, didn't get it 2020, but it was a year long story. Symptoms, got the vaccine, oh yeah. YouTube will yell at me now. <laughs> YouTube yells at everybody these days. Let's see, where's my fan brush for the tree? There we go. I got him. Let's see, what color I want to use? I was seeing a, <laughs> I meant to use the little green. Oh well. We'll do an old Z tree for, for Bob. We haven't done one of these in a long time, so we'll do one now. Just pushing straight in. The little green and an accidental burnt sienna. And then we're going to stop right at the edge of this little hill here. There we go. All right. And then we'll probably do one over on this left side. I don't know, just because. Just to fill up some space. Let's make him not as tall as the mountain, or a little bit less than the mountain. Oh man, I haven't done one of these in ages. The old Z tree. Ages. What kind of music does everyone like? Everything. <laughs> yeah. Country, oldies, rock, French. French music. Interesting. 
Tumbela. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Movie soundtracks. Good old Z trees. Yeah. I listen. I'm kind of like Billy. I listen to everything too. extra paint I added some ivory black so it was a little too light so just make him a friend won't be able to see him until I had the highlights really but he's there in spirit right now I should have done these first, but oh well. Before this. <laughs> oh well. Although I sometimes download some good old Kentucky Tennessee Mountain music. Ooh. That's some good music there. That's what my brother listens to. Kentucky bluegrass and country. Alright, I don't want straight yellow, so hopefully this picks up some of that green, emerald green. Grab some white, liquid white, just a little bit. Could add some black to dull it down. Or what's the word? Make it less uh, saturated, but I think this will be fine. Here we go. A little bit of highlight. I don't know if there's orange in there or not. It probably is. Knowing my luck. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. Maybe just put some in there. And then we'll grab a little bit more for the other side. I don't know. Should we do anything down here? Probably. Knock something over. There's our trees, big old trees, pine trees. Okay. Oh, what else do we want to add anything? I guess I didn't say it was a bird sanctuary, so we should probably add some birds. Let's do that real quick. Is this small enough? Okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. This is ivory black for the little birds. They'll be flying around this thing. little birds flying around up there. Nate, one day just paint two big trees first and then paint in the background. Okay. I could do that. If you still have a show us your first painting, it would be fun to see. Uh, it's right here on the wall, actually. Let me see it. That's it. Painting number one. Painting number 600 something. 
so some improvement. Still got a ways to go though, but definitely improved over the last couple years. And I've only been painting since 2020, so if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't painted yet, and you don't think you can do it because you haven't painted since, you know, some of these people painting since they've been five years old or whatever, you can do it. You can pick it up. Anybody can. You just got to make time for it and do it a little bit, a little bit every day or whenever you can. You'll get better. I know that you will. Two, three. I like putting the numbers on my paintings too. I didn't. I didn't even sign that first painting when I did it because I was so upset. I thought it was just the worst. I couldn't even finish the hills on it because I was so distraught. But you just keep going. Little by little, poco a poco. <laughs> Masterpiece, <laughs> thanks, Paul. All right, here we go. I think this is good enough for now. I might touch it up a little bit later, but here it is Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. Pretty fun. <laughs> 